I'm delighted to introduce Dave Varnick. Dave is both Director of Sales and Business Development at Graphene One. And um, to the top right, you see the Kyurene, their product Kyurene logo. And Dave will tell us about their graphene-based functional fibers for clothing and textiles. With that, Dave, over to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, great to have a chance to talk with you. We're going to talk pretty specifically today about uh, fabric, clothing, uh, functional things. So we're not going to go too wide, so we're going to go deep into clothing and fabrics and what graphene does in that specific application. Um, I know some of the talks were much broader about all the other things that graphene might do in all these various markets, but this one's going to be really talking about textiles and clothing. And uh, I am the director of sales and director uh, and business development. I work from my home, as you can see, in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina in the U.S. But I have responsibility for pretty much global. Um, I'll talk a little bit about our company first, and then I'll go into the functional uh, characteristics of the fibers that graphene imparts and why people use those and where they're being used and uh, a little bit about the products themselves. So with that, um, our company is privately held. It's QS Group is the parent company. It's based in uh, China. Um, it was started as a glove company, a, a producer of safety gloves, uh, the kind that you wear if you're handling on a daily basis, sharp metal parts, so automotive or construction or assembly work. Um, and they still make safety gloves for many, many, many of the major brands out there globally. And then in 2014, on this chart, you see on the, on the left-hand side, Armor Guys, they came up with their own brand of gloves. So in the U.S., they also sell gloves under their own brand name, in addition to making gloves for other people. Um, they also have a solar panel division um, in, that was founded in 2007. And that's where they first started looking at graphene was could the graphene enhance the performance of their solar panels? And actually it did lead to in some improvements. But then while looking at the graphene, they saw that it was quite an interesting material. And uh, they started the Kyrene division, started the Kyrene group to look at other applications, including fibers, textiles. And actually they actually put the Kyrene graphene into their safety gloves as well and sell that under the Kyrene Pro <laughs> brand name under their Armor Guys division. So they used it internally first and then looked at what else they could do with it. So that research started around 2010. And um, it, was a, it was really a, a team of people uh, from the company along with different international um, help from various institutes, including uh, Manchester University, where, as you know, uh, graphene was was founded. Uh, there were uh, people in the U.S. and Europe uh, that came together, and they really decided that to have a reliable source of graphene, they will produce their own. So we are fully backward integrated. We produce our own graphene, and then we produce graphene oxide, and then we have a method to produce the fibers, standard textile fibers, out of, uh, out of the graphene oxide. Uh, we partner with uh, both uh, the Graphene uh, Association and the Graphene Council. Um, the, the, the real challenge, if you will, came in and, and what took the most time was really how do you take and scale up this technology um, to, to something that is sustainable, that is cost effective and reproducible. Um, as you know, if graphene is not on a one or two layer structure uh, thickness, then it's really not graphene, it's carbon. So uh, they looked at both mechanical exfoliation, which was um, not really cost effective on a large scale, they didn't feel. And we looked at uh, chemical reduction, um, which was easier, but more difficult to maintain uh, the 2D structure. So our uh, QS group really came up with an improved method uh, based on the standard chemical process to ensure uh, both the reproducibility and and uh, in large scale. And it can be scaled up rather uh, uh, rather simply, if you will. Uh, we have some 30 patents. Some of those are on the production of the graphene. Some of them are on the production of graphene oxide. And many of them are on the incorporation of graphene oxide compounds into composite fibers and into coatings. I mentioned uh, our gloves, most all safety gloves are coated with nitrile or, um, or rubber compounds. And so we have actually put graphene into the, the rubber compounds as well. So